about them as, as several other beings as well about the story of Yaku. Yaku lived on the surface. Yishak was Philcor brother, right? Philcor is the being who Billy said that he met with who was the master of the world, who looked at young, but he could tell that he was old or ancient, right? There's a movie out about Billy Woodrick and his sister being placed on the surface. It's called Escape from Witch Mountain, right? Escape Witch Mountain. You can go check that movie out and you get a little bit of better understanding on about Billy, right? The little boy in the movie is Billy and the little girl is his sister. And it's mighty funny how we dealing with these Billies. Cause you got uh, Billy this and uh, Billy that. But you gotta keep in mind that Billy worked for the government. And so it's a lot of things that he can't say based on what the government told him. And then it's a lot of things he can't say based on what the council of the inner earth told him, right? So you gotta watch these guys, they tricky, right? Billy is a fugal law, like we said, from the race of beings that Yaku drafted from the original Asiatic black man. Well, I don't know if I can call them original because they came down, but they, they were Asiatic black men of the Hindus, right, from the tribe of Shabazz, which we tell you about, right, in the, the Hindu tape. I think it's Galactic 26 where we talk about the Hindus. The beings from planet Nirvana, right? Nirvana. Yaku is a product of anger. And like we say, when you just having sex, right? And you just having sex and you sneaking around and having sex and you produce a child, that child you bring through the vortex could be a disagreeable based on you committing the disagreeable act that brought, brought forth that being. See what I'm saying? And Yaku is a product of this because his mother was the princess of the Teru tribe, which are the Coneheads. And Lanza, who is the leader of the Teru, gave as a treaty between the two tribes to the Nako and the Teru Lenza gave his daughter to Philcor, who Billy Woodrick called the master of the world. She was made fun of because of her cone head and the beings that, and Philcor's race of beings called the Danako, who are a hybrid race of Rizian beings between the, the Ramadians or uh, Ramadans and Rizians, right? Which is why they had the extra size skulls, right? She didn't want to stay amongst them, so she chose to go live on the surface and sought out Philcor's brother who had been banished to the surface because Yishak loved maiden with the afar women. So he had he stayed up on the surface with a couple more other brothers, right? At least two or three of Philcor brothers lived on the surface. And one of these brothers' name was Yishak. And so when she went to the surface, she sought out Yishak and made it with him. And they had a son named Yaku who was born with a double-sided head, a cranium. His head was two times bigger than the regular Danaka. They labeled him as the big head scientist. Now we get into speeding up into him creating these frugalords. Well, Yaku eventually, over a 600 year span on the island of Patmos, drafted these frugalord race of beings Right, and you look at Billy, you can clearly see the connection between him and the Frugal Lords. For all those who know, right? They are the Flintstones. You know, Fred and Barney, and Fred, also called Frog, is the leader of the Frugal Lords. See, they've been playing games with you for quite some time.